Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a video all about products that I've repurchased multiple times. These are all products that I've panned, or very nearly panned, to the point where I've rebought the product several times over the past couple of months or years. I have four products that I want to talk about. I have more, I believe, but these are just the ones where I have like the originals that I'm using now along with a couple of backups or I have some empties. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of empties or repurchase videos. And if you haven't and you like to, hope you will consider subscribing, hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So it's interesting seeing what products I go through, but it's also, it makes a lot of sense. These are mainly like base products, like products that you go to every day. And the first product I wanna talk about is from MAC. This is the Prep and Pep. This is the Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This is a brand new bottle that I just picked up from MAC a little while ago. I've actually really been liking the rose scent. So this is in the rose scent, but I also picked up some in the original scent. I bought at least three or four of these, just regular full size. And then last holiday season, I believe, they came out with a kit of minis. I bought two of those as well because I love them. And in that kit of minis is where I found like the rose scented one. Honestly, this is a bit of a splurge for me because I do have a dupe for this that I could definitely use instead. But I do, I don't know. Sometimes I just want the Mac. I want to have the product. I want to have the bottle. You can back to Mac the full size ones, not the minis, unfortunately, once you actually do finish them up. And I just, I love the scent that comes with it as well. So you don't need to get the Mac one because the Milani setting spray does the same thing. I just like to sometimes treat myself, but not sometimes, four times, <laughs> treat myself to the MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm currently using um, the Catrice setting spray because what I like to do is use two setting sprays. I'll use one to kind of meld all of my powders in together. That'll either be the Fix Plus, the Milani, or the Catrice, and then I'll go in with my Scandinavia setting spray to actually like lock everything down. So like I said, you don't need to use the MAC. But I like having the MAC around, which would explain why I've bought this like four times. <laughs> Next, I have two face powders that I want to go over. One is a little bit more middle high end and the other one's more affordable. The higher end one, anyone who's been around my channel for a little bit will know. This is a face powder from the Balm. This is the Balm Sexy Mama Translucent Powder. I'm currently panning the one that I'm using right now in my Finish 6 by Solstice. If you missed that intro, I'll throw that up in the cards. But I have this this one before this I used two full-size like regular powders up and I currently have two backups because the bomb had their sale where these are half off so I love this powder this is like my holy grail go-to face powder I love it um, as you can see I do depot the powder because the original packaging let me open up one of these so it's like a little sleeve you pull it out you get a little mirror and then this is the original packaging right here. I, for like my everyday go-to products, I just love having them all in one place. It makes getting ready before work just that much easier. So I do like to depot these and they're so easy to depot because it's just cardboard packaging. You just rip apart the cardboard and you've got it. So that's why I have it in this little palette right here. As you can see, I still have a great amount of pan on this. I'm gonna repress it just so I could finish using it up because I know once this pan gets a little bit too big, it is hard to get the powder on the ring of the pan. I love this powder. It's $20 normal price if you wait for the bombs normal twice a year half off sale they're ten dollars this is worth ten dollars you get a lot of product it's an amazing product i love it it's just i bought this like five times <laughs> sometimes full price but mostly during that sale the next face powder, a little bit more affordable, from uh, the drugstore that I love is from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I bought this in two shades. Um, my normal go-to shade is 004 Sandstorm, which is just a little dark for me right now, but it still works on my skin tone. I've also purchased 001 Transparent, which is just... Yeah, it matches me a little bit better. But this is supposed to be a translucent powder, whereas this one has a little bit of color to it. I've bought four of the Sandstorm shade and two of the translucent shade. I also have one currently like on backup. This is the Sandstorm shade that I have on backup. 
I've been trying to depot this powder because like I said for my powders I like having them just kind of in a Z palette easy go to get it all done I've broken one of these trying to depot it and then I repressed it and I used it up but it went a lot quicker once I repressed it I did get some advice from I think it was reddit on how to depot this a little bit better so I think with my newer one in my backup drawer I'll try to depot that one and see how it goes but this is just a really great powder you get 14 grams of product it's really affordable you can use coupons on it the only thing I don't like is just this packaging I hate this packaging <laughs> Okay, and the last product I'm going to talk about today that I've bought three or four times is from the Ulta House brand. It's their concealer, and this is their liquid or full coverage liquid concealer in light warm. I love this concealer. This is actually my favorite affordable concealer. Full proof, doesn't crease, lasts throughout the day. I love this concealer. I've panned two of these already in the same shade and I have two backups. After spending so long like struggling through affordable concealers like I highly recommend this one because it takes a long time to find like affordable concealers that work for my under eyes and just for my skin type. I would highly recommend buying these when they're on sale. They always do sales on Ulta's own brand of beauty products. I think this is around five dollars. I, I always buy it on sale so I always get it at around two or three dollars so I don't know what the regular full price is. But if you can find it on sale, go into the store so you can find some swatches because this is just moi. And I've bought it at least four times. Like, yes. <laughs> So those are four products that I've repurchased time and time and time again, just because I know that they're bulletproof and they work amazing for me. Let me know down below what products you repurchase again and again and what keeps you, you know, going back to those same products. Thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.